Hello, America. Nazi neocon fascist leader, Austrian-born Adolf Hitler, led a campaign of fear and hatred. A program that he designed, and a book he wrote while in prison, Mein Kampf. He followed his designs of a new Germany. He utilized the Reichstag Senate building fire to manipulate a people. He convinced senators to bestow him with more powers than the Constitution allowed. Yes, Germany had a Constitution once. When this occurred, lawyers, community leaders, and political activists spoke out. They were arrested. They were among the first to see the insides of concentration camps. And the German populace said nothing out of fear. While concentration camps are being constructed right here on our soil, Americans say nothing out of fear. While Hitler began his campaign of terror, arresting and detaining, then eventually murdering millions, the German people did nothing, hoping they weren't next. Eyes down, mouths shut. Arrested, confined, or beat to death, right on the streets, to be used as examples. Any known Jew. Confined to the ghettos, and detained for transport, was the life of the Jew. Off to concentration camps, and their certain death. And the German populace did nothing, for fear they would be next. Others that were killed were commuted to concentration camps. Gays beaten in the streets to be made example of. Blacks to be beaten in the streets, arrested, or made example of. In the Rhineland Valley, any German who had a mixed race child, and was a child labeled a bastard, that child was summarily sterilized, some murdered, so that lineage would stop there. They were considered to be a pox on the German people for any interracial, interracial breeding. And the German people did nothing. Lawyers, politicians, Jehovah's Witnesses, who would only bear allegiance unto God, were in turn and summarily executed. Christians of Serbian, Albanian, Pole, French, Gypsies, and of course, Jews. Any and all undesirables. Guised as racial purity. Why am I speaking up? Why is my voice that of a common dissenter? Because I see parallels. I cannot live my day daily life knowing that only a hundred miles from me, Americans will be slaughtered. That 400 miles from me, Americans will be tortured. Labeled with the Star of David, a pink triangle, beaten on the streets. I could not live one day thinking that I did anything that perpetuates these crimes, even in my silence. Look at me. I could have survived this new world order. I'm white, industrious, of reasonable intelligence. I could survive. I could survive the new world order. I could believe the lies, but my God shows and reveals to me something far different. So why put myself in harm's way? Average men like John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, and Ben Franklin pledged their, pledged their fortunes, their lives, and their names for freedom so that America could exist as a free, sovereign nation. I pledge my broke ass, my strong back, and my forever allegiance to God and to the Constitution and to this great nation that remain the words of a just society. That the Constitution, more than a piece of paper, remain the cornerstone of this great nation and that its message remain the beacon light for the future of the entire planet.
America, June 21st, 2008. We have to all stand up and speak out before we're not allowed to speak at all. Will you be ashamed of yourself when you see thousands being whisk, whisked away to termination? Will you keep your head down and your mouth shut in the hope that you're not next? And those who are guaranteed a certain amount of survivability for yourselves and for your families, when they've decided your usefulness is now used up, and your family begins to be sent away, what then? Think it won't happen? Think it can't be you? Think again. I'm going to reveal something about myself. Yeah, I have a couple of minutes. Seven years into my marriage, my wife was my wife was diagnosed with bipolar, low functioning. In their terms, in the Nazi terms, my wife would be sent off to a concentration camp, summarily executed. Five years after we were married. My son, we have, my wife and I had a son. A couple of years ago, he was diagnosed, diagnosed with autistic spectrum. High functioning, savant. He's ultra intelligent, but you would never know it. And that's part of his autism. He also would be sent away to a concentration camp. In America, the water that's influencing everyone it gives off a certain amount of, of uh, estrogen and uh, mood and behavioral drugs, which simulate mental illness. Blacks, Jews, dissenters, lawyers, anyone who disagrees with the current state of being is certain to be whisked away and kept silent. The final piece is all that will be left are white people. The history of the white man, and I'm white, through and through, long lineage, is not an illustrious one. I'm not proud of what our people have done. I'm not proud of what my history has done. But I am proud of my constitution, and I'm very proud of my nation. I love all my neighbors, and I allow for all types of things to survive around me. I don't hate them because of who they are. I don't hate them because of what they are, whatever they are. I merely want to coexist with them as intended. Not just in the Constitution, not just in the Bible, but in our lives, in our everyday lives. So March 21st, or I'm sorry, June 21st, 2008, the Constitutional Rally could potentially be the salvation of millions. So we're asking that millions turn out. Three, four, five million. America, this is the plan they have for us. 